Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Sector 5. I am your host as always, Cody, the Hangman Heinzman. And, as I record this at 1.20 in the morning of Monday, Battleground was yesterday. And I am here to give you the rundown of that pre- of that pay-per-view. So, yes, different setup. I have different headphones in as I'm recording with my phone. So, either way, let's get started. With the pre-show, we had Cameron versus Naomi. And the winner of that match was Cameron. And then with another pre-show that's not in the predictions because it was set up later on, we had Fondango versus Adam Rose. Winner of that match, Adam Rose, because it was his birthday. So, next up, we have... Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Winner of this match, Seth Rollins. And afterwards, it looked like there was a brawl that ensued, and then security came out to break it up. But anyways, let's continue. As we have the Usos versus Bray versus the Wyatt family for the Tag Team Championship. The winner of this match is still your tag team champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. They somehow came out and beat the Wyatt family out of a two out of three falls match. I'm actually kind of surprised about this one, but. The Usos are still tag team champions. Next up we have AJ versus Paige for Divas Championship. And the winner of this match and still your Divas Champion, AJ Lee. Next up we had Chris Jericho, Y2J, save us Jericho versus Bray Wyatt following the buzzards. And the winner of this match, Chris Jericho, after a code breaker. That one actually kind of shocked me. But, hey, it happened. Next up, we had Jack Swagger versus Rusev. The winner of this match, by count out, Rusev. Swagger versus Rusev. Swagger went out there, had Rusev in the Patriot lock. And then uh, Rusev was able to send him flying into the uh, the corner of the ring on the outside to the metal ring post. That's what I'm looking for. And Swagger couldn't make it back into the ring. Winner of this match... Rusev. Next up, we have the Battle Royal for the Intercontinental Championship. And I took the liberty of writing down. I didn't watch it, but I went and read. So I have a list of the order they were eliminated and by who... And with a little additional information. So, let's get started. Let's start with, technically, the first person eliminated. Rob Van Dam. He was taken out by injury. He could not compete because of injury. And I'll even add this to the additional ones. Uh... It was originally 22 competitors that was going to be in this. Co including Rob Van Dam, Fondongo, and Adam Rose. But Fondongo and Adam Rose had their match, so they did not compete in theirs. And Rob Van Dam was taken out with injury. So, we ended up with only 19 people in the Battle Royal. So anyways... Rob Van Dam taken out with injury. So, technically the second person, and ergo going down the list. Uh, 
Well, unless you want to say like the fourth person since Fondango and Adam Rose just kind of sort of were taken out. But, anyways, going on with the rest of this. Next person eliminated, Xavier Woods. He was eliminated by the Great Khali. Followed by Zack Ryder, who was also eliminated by the Great Khali. Ultimately, next, the Great Khali gets eliminated by a bro kick by Sheamus. Next up, Sin Cara gets eliminated by Bo Dallas. After that, R Truth gets eliminated by Kofi Kingston and Big E Langston. Curtis Axel, Damian Sandow, and Diego of Los Matadores were the next three eliminated, but it didn't clearly say by who, so I put unknown. But they were the next three eliminated. Next to be eliminated was Ryback. He was eliminated by a bro kick by Sheamus. Next up, Titus O'Neil was eliminated by Bo Dallas. Alberto De Rio's next out, getting eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Big E Langston was eliminated by Cesaro next, followed by Kofi Kingston. After Cesaro tried to get rid of Kofi, Big E caught him and put him back in the ring. Once again, Kofi Kingston being extraordinary in a battle royal, finding a way to not be eliminated. Next up, after Kofi's elimination, Cesaro gets eliminated by Heath Slater, of all people. But, sadly, Heath Slater didn't get to celebrate long as he was eliminated by a bro kick from Sheamus. Bo Dallas was the next person to be eliminated by Dolph Ziggler, with assistance from Sheamus giving the 10 beats. So we're down to the final three competitors. We have Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz. All three still remaining. Sheamus gets eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Final two. We have Dolph Ziggler and The Miz. Winner of this match and the new Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. So, Miz ends up prevailing. Miz got thrown out twice during the match, but he was not thrown out over top rope. So he was still able to compete. And he stayed on the outside for as long as he could. And he came in and stole the championship. Oh well. So, new Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. I mean, I did predict that The Miz would potentially win it. And... I can't wait to see when Wade Barrett returns and tries to bullhammer him in the face because that's the whole thing about uh, Miz now is he doesn't want anyone hitting him in the face, which is mainly probably the reason that he got the title. Let's be honest with this. They want to keep the running gag as much as possible. So now they have to have anybody who's anyone that kicks or punches or elbows in the face face against the Miz. That's the reason he he's champion. But anyways, that's the rundown of the Intercontinental Championship match. So, all that's left is the Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Let me just get this prepared. Because I realized that I didn't do it right the last time that I did these. Oopsies. Oh, I see. Why? Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. There we go. This is the way I should have done it when I was doing the predictions, and I meant to do it this way. But anyways, there's a reason that I made sure I put the titles back this way, because the winner of this match, and still, your WWE World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. Seth Rollins did not cash in as well. So, there is the rundown of 
battleground. Uh, looking back, I got at least four out of the nine right. I got Cameron and Naomi, Ambrose and Rollins, AJ and Paige, Rusev and Swagger, and the Intercontinental Championship match. So that's five, actually. Five out of nine. Of course, Fondango and uh, Adam Rose was not in part of the predictions, even though I would have predicted Adam Rose because I would have looked at the speculation of Fondango is in a rut right now with the whole Layla Summer Rae thing and Adam Rose has yet to really lose anything so I would have won Adam Rose with that one and would have potentially got that right but I'm not going to include that in my being being right so if we wanted to go with the original I got five out of the eight right the only ones that I got wrong was... Actually, no, I got six. I forgot about the fact that I got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. So I got the majority of them right. The only ones I got wrong was Uso versus Wyatt and Jericho versus Bray Wyatt. I got the Wyatt families wrong. I actually was thinking that the Wyatts were going to leave. All three of them were going to leave with victories. So, anyways... That has been the rundown of Battleground. As always, if uh, you feel like commenting, commenting below uh, any more details that you have, because as I said, I did not watch Battleground. Uh, I'm not. I haven't watched too many pay per views. The only ones I usually will catch is. Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, WrestleMania, if at that. I at least want to catch WrestleMania. So, you know, most of these reviews are just what I find on the WWE website, which I will throw out here right now. If you look on the WWE website, I don't know if they'll fix it later, they have that Swagger beat Rusev. But if you read the article... They clearly show that Rusev beat Swagger, so maybe WWE will catch that and fix it. But if not, I'm just telling you right here, right now, that Rusev did beat Swagger because of the way I said earlier. Rusev was able to make it into the ring because Swagger was hit against the ring post and couldn't make it in for a 10 count. So... I just wanted to throw that out there at the end of this video. And as always, I'm Cody Heinzman, and that's just how it is.